Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech. And in this session, what we are going to learn? In this session, we are going to configure the LAMP server, means the Apache web server, PHP, PHP My Admin. Also, we are going to configure the MariaDB server. Okay, so that's all called the LAMP server. So we are going to configure all these server on step by step on our Raspbian OS Raspberry Pi 4. So before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and just let's start so friends simple first you need to open your raspberry pi 4 terminal okay also friends you can use this uh, video for installing lamp server on the ubuntu machine also on your desktop okay so package so packages are almost same okay so just let's start so first you need to install raspbian os on your card flash the image install raspbian os insert the card and start raspberry pi 4 then simple first you need to update and upgrade the packages so command is sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade space hyphen y hit enter and it will update and upgrade all the packages okay so as you can see it's updating and it's upgraded okay because i have already run the uh, update and upgrade uh, command so i have already updated and upgrade the packages you need to first simply uh, run the sudo apt update and and sudo apt update space hyphen y command that's it so we are already done with upgrade and uh, update and upgrade process now we are going to install our first package which is the apache web server so sudo apt install apache2 space hyphen y hit enter it will install apache2 on our raspberry pi 4 i have already installed so if, you, if i run the command if config the ip address is 192.168.0.100 simply you need to open the browser and then you need to hit the ip address of your machine for knowing the IP address, you need to run the command inside the terminal if config and it will show all the interfaces which we have with our Raspberry Pi 4. We have here a LAN interface which is ETS0 but it's not uh, currently configured. It is This is what our WLAN0 interface means this is what our uh, Raspberry Pi 4 inbuilt Wi-Fi interface. So IP address is 192.168.0.100. So open the browser and hit the IP address 192.168.0.100 and just hit enter and when you saw this Apache uh, Debian default page it means we have successfully configured our own Apache web server on our Raspberry Pi 4. Now we have already done with Apache 2. Now we are going to install the PHP. So let's just go inside our terminal again and run the command sudo apt install install php and space hyphen y and hit enter it will install php on our raspberry pi 4 i have already installed it now how to check whether php is working or not simply we need to go inside slash var slash dub dub slash html which is our uh, apache 2 uh, by default directory so cd slash var slash dub dub slash html and here we are going to create this is what our by default apache uh, page which we open here this is what the index.html page and as you can see this is what the index.html file so sa same way we are going to configure the php file sudo we are going to use here a nano editor sudo nano index dot php hit enter and here we are going to create a simple hello world okay like this way php echo inside that double quote hello hello world then complete the php okay so like this way forget to mention okay so this is what our testing world hello world it will print the hello world inside our browser so control x y enter and simply we need to restart our apache service so sudo slash etc slash ini init.d apache2 space restart hit enter this is what the command for restarting the apache2 sudo space slash etc 
slash init.d slash apache2 is our service space restart and just hit enter it will restart our apache2 simply uh, we are going to open index.php index inside our web browser so this is what the ip address 192.168.0.100 slash our file name is index.php and just hit enter as you can see we have successfully create the hello world it means we able to see hello world inside the browser means we have successfully configured the php so we have done with apache and php now we are going to configure the mariadb okay which is our database so let's start for the mariadb so i'm going to first come out from the slash word slash www html folder and we are going to install here our mariadb server so let's just install sudo apt install we are going to install mariadb hyphen server and php mysql this is what the packages which we are going to install so sudo apt install install maria db hyphen server and php hyphen my sql space hyphen y hit enter it will install mariadb server on our raspberry pi 4 now as you can see it's installing okay so friends we have installed the mariadb now simply again we are going to restart our service apache 2 sudo first let me clear the screen sudo apt sorry sudo slash etc slash init dot d apache 2 restart okay so we have restart our service now what we want to do we want to uh, set the password for mariadb so how to do this sudo then mysql underscore then just press the tab you need to run the command like this first sudo space mysql and then underscore okay and you need to simply press the tab button like this i am going to again show you sudo mysql just press underscore and press the tab button okay and then you will see all these commands we need to basically we are going to use here this command this one command does mysql secure installation so simply mysql secure installation this is what the command which we are going to install and then just hit enter as you can see here it says enter current password for root or enter for num so this is what the complete fresh installation of mariadb or mysql so we don't have set any password so none is basically the password means there is no password so simply we need to hit enter then it will ask setting the root password ensure that nobody can log into the mariadb root user without the proper authorization means it says that we have to set the password for root user so set root user password of course mention y for yes hit enter then you need to set the password for the mariadb so new password i am going to set the password here enter again retype the password enter that's it we have successfully set the password remove anonymous user just simply press y disallow root logging uh, remotely yes remove test database also yes Re reload the privileges also yes and that's it thanks for using mariadb so we have successfully set the mariadb now what we want to do if i just run the command like this way we are going to basically uh, start the server so sudo then mariadb okay mariadb space hyphen hyphen and we are going to set the user which is basically our root user user is equal to root and then space hyphen hyphen password and just hit enter and now we have which we, which the password we have set we need to enter that password here so i am going to mention the password and as you can see i have success successfully logged in inside the mariadb database means we have uh, configure MariaDB successfully on our Raspberry Pi 4. Now, friends, we have configured Apache, we have configured the PHP, also, we have done with the MariaDB.
okay now simply i'm not going to uh, create here a database now what we want to do here we are going to create the php my admin on our raspberry pi 4 okay so let's start sudo apt install php my admin as you can see this is what the command sudo apt install php my admin simply press enter and it will install the php my admin package so as you can see do you want to configure simply press y hit enter now the php admin package is going to be installed so friends meanwhile in installation as you can see it says the configuring php my admin web server to reconfigure automatically so we have here apache 2 we are going to use the apache 2 so simply we need to set the apache 2 so here apache 2 press the space and as you can see it 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 says here it basically uh, sign the star means we successfully set the apache 2 as our uh, web server for php my admin okay so then simply press the tab button come to the okay hit enter also it says the configuring php admin simply here we need to uh, go with the yes okay so as you can see the uh, command is for the simply as you can see the configure database for php admin with db config common so simply press enter yes and as you can see configuring php my admin so we need to set the password for php my admin set same password which we have set for the mariadb okay remember uh, things set the same password okay so i'm going to mention the password here click on uh, okay means we need to click on the tab button come to the okay hit enter password confirmation means we need to retype the password the same password so type the same password press the tab button come to the okay hit enter and that's it it's 98 percent done so friends we have installed php my admin simply clear the screen and we are going to run the command so sudo this is the command for basically uh, enabling the php my sqli extension so sudo php and php n mode this is what the command sudo php n e n mode php n mode my sqli and hit enter okay sudo the command is what sudo php en n mode space my sqli okay then simply again we are going to restart our apache 2 service sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash apache 2 and restart hit enter now what we want to do we want to simply go in browser and here we are going to simply mention the php my admin slash this is what the ip address of for raspberry pi 4 php my admin and just hit enter and as you can see we have now our php my admin so friends now what we want to do we want to simply mention the username and the password so the username is php my admin and password which we uh, set uh, when we installing the php my admin this is what the password okay so php my admin is our user and the password which we want to mention as i told you the password which we set uh, when we installing the php my admin uh, meanwhile it asks us to set the password so that is what our password for uh, opening the php my admin so password mention that password over here click on go again i am going to say here username is php my admin and password is what we have set uh, meanwhile installation php my admin okay click on go and that's it as you can see we have successfully opened the php my admin now from here you can simply create the databases okay although all those things we can uh, do uh, for the for basically setting the databases on our raspberry pi 4 okay so in next video we are going to see how we can create the databases uh, using the mariadb from the terminal also how to create the databases from the php my admin in this video we have successfully installed the apache php mariadb and php my admin on our raspberry pi 4 i hope you will learn something from this video 
वी विल मीट अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन थैंक यू चेक करें बाय